Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to evaluate trigonometric functions using the special right triangle. And this is the fourth part. In this part, the given angle is more than 360 degrees and at the same time in radian. Before we go over this example right here, let's have a review on the special right triangle and the formulas to find the reference angles. We remember that the special right triangles that includes the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle and the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle and the formulas to find the reference angle are very important in order that we can evaluate trigonometric functions. Let's go over the special right triangle here. Let's start with the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. We remember that the side opposite to the 60 degrees is squared of 3 over 2 and the side adjacent to 60 degrees is one half. And the side opposite to 30 degrees is one half. And the side adjacent to 30 degrees is squared of three over two. The hypotenuse for the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle is one. Now let's go over the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. We remember that the side opposite to the 45 degrees would be square root of 2 over 2 and the side adjacent to the 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. And it works for the other angle since both of them are 45 degrees. And we also remember that the hypotenuse is 1. These are the formulas to find for the reference angle. Please remember that this formula would work if our angle is more than 360 degrees. This is the formula to use to determine the reference angle if the angle is on the first quadrant. This is the formula to use to determine the reference angle if the given angle is in the second quadrant. This will be the formula if it's on the third and this is the formula if it's on the fourth. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Determine the exact value of tangent 13 pi over 6. In order that we can determine the exact value for this, there are steps that we need to follow. The first step is to change the given radian to degree. Since we have 13 pi over 6, I can go ahead and write that up here. So that's 13 pi over 6 times. We remember that since pi is right there, we put the pi at the bottom here and the pi is equal to 180 degrees so that we can go ahead and cross out the pi and the pi. So we are left with 13 times 180 is 2340. And then that is divided by six. So that if we divide 2340 with six, the answer here is 390 degrees. So this 13 pi over six is 390 degrees so that we go ahead and label the angles for this cir unit circle that we have here. Okay, so we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to sketch the given angle on the unit circle, determine the reference angle, and completely label the special right triangle on the unit circle. Since we have 390, which is like an equivalent to 13 pi over 6, 390, we remember that one full um, turn around the circle is 360, but says since this is 390, so that means it goes all the way out there, so this is approximately um, 390 degrees, so one turn plus 30, so that we go ahead and determine the reference angle. Since this is on the first quadrant, the formula for the reference angle on the first quadrant is, that is the given angle, which is 390 minus the angle corresponding to the positive x-axis, which is 360. So that's 390 minus 360, and that is actually 30 degrees. So this angle that we have here is 30. So this spot right here, or this corner right here is 30 degrees. So let's draw the right triangle for this. So this is where the right angle is gonna sit. We remember that the side across from 30 is one half. And then the um, hypotenuse for this unit circle is 1. And then the side that is adjacent to 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. For the sign on this, 
since this is on the positive x-axis, so this is positive. This is parallel to the positive y-axis, so this is positive. So then we go ahead and move on to the third step. The third step is to use the SOHCAHTOA to determine the exact value of the angle. Since this is tangent, we're going to use the TOA, that is, that is opposite over adjacent. So tangent... Um, that's going to be 13 pi over 6 is actually equal to the opposite side is 1 half. The adjacent side is square root of 3 over 2. Since this is a complex fraction, so what we do is we are going to flip the denominator and multiply across. So that would be 1 half times uh, that's going to be 2 over square root of 3 because we flip it. So then we can cross the 2 and the 2 out. So we are left with 1 over square root of 3. Since the square root is on the denominator, we can go ahead and uh, rationalize the denominator by multiplying square root of 3 over square root of 3 to both the numerator and the denominator. So this would come out square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So pretty much that is square root of 3 over 3. So this is the exact value for tangent 13 pi over 6. That would be square root of 3 over 3. Now let's move on to the next example. So we are supposed to determine the exact value of 11 pi over 4. Let's label the angles here first. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can determine the exact value for this. The first step is to change the given radian to degree. I'm going to show the work on the side up here. Okay, so this angle that we have here, 11 pi over uh, 4, is actually 495. So we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to sketch the given angle on the unit circle, determine the reference angle, and completely label the special right triangle on the unit circle. So one full turn around the circle is 360. Again, that is 495. This all the way up here is 450, but this is 540. So... 495 should be somewhere around here, so I can go ahead and um, approximate it to be somewhere there. So this is again 495 degrees. So we're going to determine the reference angle. This is on the second quadrant. We remember that the formula for the reference angle on the second quadrant is the angle corresponding to the negative x-axis, which is 540 and that is minus the given angle, which is 495. So if we subtract this, um, 540 minus 495, this is 45 degrees. This means that this um, angle that we have here is 45 degrees. So let's draw the um, right triangle and label the parts. We remember that the hypotenuse for the right triangle is 1. The side adjacent to 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. The side opposite to 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. For the sign on this, this is on the negative x-axis, so this value is negative. This is parallel to the positive y-axis, so this is positive. Now let's move on to the third step. The third step is to use SOHCAHTOA to determine the exact value of the angle. Since this is sine, we are going to use SO. So SO means opposite over hypotenuse. So we can go ahead and write that um, down here. So that's sine 11 pi over 4 equals, that is SO opposite is square root of 2 over 2. The hypotenuse is 1. So then we can go ahead and say that the exact value is square root of 2 over 2. So this is the exact value for sine 11 pi over 4. That is square root of 2 over 2. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So let's label the angles first. Okay, the first step is to change the given radian to degree. So the um, angle that we have here is 19 pi over 6. So I'm just going to show the work on the side here, changing this to degree. 
Okay, so this 19 pi over six is equivalent to 540 degrees. So then we go ahead and move on to the second step. The second step is to sketch the given angle on the unit circle, determine the reference angle and completely label the special right triangle on the unit circle. So one full turn around the circle is 360. So that's 360 right there. Now, since we have 570, this is 450. This is 540. Again, we go all the way to 570. So this is 630 right here. So 570 should be somewhere around um, here. So this is 570 degrees. So I'm just gonna label that up here. So that's 570 degrees. So then we go ahead and determine the reference angle. As you can see, this is on the third quadrant. So the formula for the reference angle on the third quadrant is the given angle, which is 570 minus the angle corresponding to the negative x-axis, which is 540. So this is 540 right here. So this is actually 30 degrees as the reference angle. So this means that this corner right here is 30 degrees. And that makes sense because if this is all the way to 570 and that's 540 right here. So the difference between this, so this corner right here, the extra one is 30 degrees. So let's draw the right triangle for this. So this is the side where the uh, right angle is. We remember that the side adjacent to 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. The side opposite to 30 degrees is 1 half. Now for the sign on this, since this is on the negative x-axis, this value here is negative. And since this is um, parallel to the negative y-axis, so this value is negative. Now let's move on to the third step. The third step is to use Sokatoa to determine the exact value of the angle. So since this is cosine, so we're going to use the ka. Ka stands for adjacent over hypotenuse. So we can go ahead and write cosine of 19 pi over 6 is equal to the adjacent of the reference angle is negative square root of 3 over 2. The hypotenuse is 1. Remember, in the unit circle, the hypotenuse is always 1. So this is over 1 right here. So this is actually negative square root of 3 over 2. Because we can divide that with 1. It's just the same number. So the value for cosine 19 pi over 6 is negative square root of 3 over 2. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. We're supposed to determine the exact value for tangent 11 pi over 3. Let's label the angles first. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can determine the exact value for this. The first step is to change the given radian to degrees. I'm just gonna show the work up here. Okay, so this 11 pi over three in degrees is 660 degrees. Now let's sketch the angle here. So again, one full circle is 360. We want 660, so this is four. 50, 540, 630. Again, we want 660. So that should be somewhere around here. So this is where the 660 is located at. So that's 660 degrees. So then we go ahead and determine the reference angle. This is on the fourth quadrant. The formula for the reference angle on the fourth quadrant is the angle on the positive x-axis, which is 720 minus the given angle, which is 660. So subtracting that, that would would give us 60 degrees. This means that this angle that we have here is 60 degrees. Now we are going to draw the right triangle here. So this is the um, side of the right triangle with the right angle right there. And then the side that is adjacent to 60 degrees is one half. And then the side that is opposite or across from um, 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. The hypotenuse is 1. The sign for this is positive since it's on the positive x-axis. This is parallel to the negative y-axis. So the value for this is negative. Now let's move on to the third step. Use Sokotoa to determine the exact value of the angle. So in this um, problem that we have here, we can go ahead and say that since this is tangent, we're going to use the TOA. 
Toa means opposite over adjacent. So tangent 11 pi over 3 is equal to, that's again opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is square root of 3 over 2. That's a negative. And then the adjacent is 1 half. So I divide that by 1 half. So this is a complex fraction. So we can go ahead and say that this would be flip and multiply across so negative square root of three over two times two over one so um we can go ahead and cross out the two and the two here so the final answer for this is negative square root of three this is the exact value for tangent 11 pi over three again that's negative square root of three did you get the same answer as this good Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!